one hard drive later and we're back to casting company of heroes you've been waiting for a while and i give you the merriest of hellos and how are you using any other pleasantries before the anti-pleasantries of war impale your main sensory processes i use the the brain located within the skull i believe we got allied seb on the north side we got axis barton on the south side Guess what? It's a new matchup. It's been a while, and as I explained earlier, one hard drive later, my hard drive broke, so that's why there's been a delay on games. Ooh, Bob Y going down for the Bartonator. He's restricting his opponent early on. He he doesn't mess around with this foreplay. He's very, very serious about it, restricting his opponent like that. And, oh, we got some unofficial Bob Y down here as well. This is like the official Bob Y. This is not. But, uh, yes, coming back to my hard drive issues, it failed. Lost quite a lot of games from that, company areas related and other things. So, bad, bad negative times. And of course, I, I'm hello again. I'm, I'm lovely to be back. It's a bit disappointing those things happened. Uh, Seb here trying to find a moment where he can walk across to this heavy cover, but the pioneers keep rocking it back to that heavy cover, uh, cancelling their capturing of the victory point, but a jeep is here from Seb, an interesting choice of unit, uh, which is going to assist in the charging, but the pioneers don't even give a damn, they're focusing these engineers down, and uh, we've got another pioneer squad back here, moving in behind that heavy cover too, they are also indeed focusing down, <laughs> even coming around the back and negating that heavy cover, uh, because engineers have a manpower drain, losing two of those units means that two of those guys have to be reinforced. Focusing the jeep down, there, however, you have to kill the jeep to actually get any benefit from that kill. The jeep is very easily repaired. Units with lower HP, uh, vehicles with lower HP, are much more easily repaired. We've even got a Volk squad moving back here as well. A rifleman has just popped out right at this moment, and I believe they are also coming here. We did have a free Pioneer start by the way from the Bartonator, uh, Seb only going with two engineers by the looks of things, our Volks are rocking the hell I cover but they should be going back to the rocking heavy cover again, oh yes, it's working out pretty well now, maybe in this situation if this barbed wire had to have been there, Seb might have ran across, uh, he is trying to repair that jeep from a distance, the Volks seemingly Focusing the weaker engineers down, first of all. The Pioneer's also slugging it from this distance as well. Uh, <laughs> I think it's just out of range. They did manage to get a few shots off there. Uh, at least they could look useful. You know, just just be like Call of Duty and how... You know, the AI in Call of Duty and they're just like... Look at me, I'm shooting in the general direction of the enemy! Pew, pew, pew! And they're just hitting like a barrel, just for effect. Literally firing for effect. And here comes the MG from Barton, which ends this conflict. The Rifleman walked back. I think that was a good choice from Seb. All he can really do is sit there and delay. Uh, we had another Rifleman squad here, which maybe he could have actually come around the side here, but there is sight from Barton from his pioneers. He might have seen that. Uh, everyone's kind of uh, neglected the right-hand side of the map. We do have these pioneers, of course, which are slowly but surely moving around. Uh, Seb, however, just with the not fully reinforced engineer unit moving around there at the moment our jeep which is doing some fancy maneuvers again uh, going after this one pioneer left over where a volk is indeed going to reinforce him the pioneer needs to get back to base and uh, really get his team buddy background we got some sandbag action down there from barton as well for his delightful mg i don't know what this jeep is planning to do i don't I, like does he just want to take damage unnecessarily yes he does that is exactly what he was going for uh, really the jeep is a very harassing unit you can't take on squads of volks especially behind heavy cover it's never gonna work out nicely for you but at least he can do some damage and then repair up ever so easily but that is time that the engineers are not capturing we see that mines are going down there from barton uh, so barton loving the mines loving the barbed wire maybe he'll be taking those things into the middle of the game you usually see that players that tend to put barbed wire sandbags and mines down uh continue to do that till mid game maybe not so much late game when tanks can just run around crushing if that is indeed the place that the allies have decided to do we got two mgs out here uh now for barton moving 
into the middle of the map. I think that's what Barton's overall strategic plan is, is to take the center of the map and he'll be easily be able to respond to the left and right hand side and at least claim two victory points, uh, which is, it sounds like a sound tactic. We got even more barbed wire down here. Uh, making it almost impossible for any units to come around here. The engineers might be able to snip that away, however, uh, but will that be in time for an MG to position itself and, of course, do a lot of damage? You take so much damage building, capturing, and uh, repairing and cutting barbed wire. So uh, we did have, by the way, a sort of behind enemy lines Seb. I don't know why he wants to be here. There is hardly anything to be gained here with those two MGs. The retreat path is not going to be looking very, very safe and secure for this rifleman squad at the very least. The Jeep is trying to get away. Takes a shot. <laughs> so low on health. Going for those engineers which have not been fully reinforced. But it looks like Barton has very much gained control of all of the map. He's cutting across to the right at the moment. Slowly but surely, however, very, very slowly. And indeed, Seb is still going to continue to harass these points at no gain for himself, apart from just making it uh, less resources for the enemy. So uh, it's not looking good. The MG is even here as well. Seb opts to go inside the house. Instead, he is going to try and make this a stall. Now, these three units at the moment are currently working on one rifleman squad. So those three units are not doing anything in the field, which allows... Seb to try and do something else in the meantime. Uh, he is looking like he's going to be capturing the left-hand side. He's even got a mortar out, damn it. What the hell is an early game mortar doing to this? I mean, a weapon support center in a situation like this means that his fuel income is going to be a bit lower. He's not going to be able to get that motor pool out earlier. Uh, if Barter notices this, he could go up to tier three very, very fast. Bring out some Pumas and end this game. That is a common strategy to do for the Axis. Uh, we got... Ooh, like, well, obviously capturing. We've got some Minesweepers out here, but they haven't exactly swept any... Oh, even some Mines over here as well. Uh, not many Mines. We've got some Pioneers firing. And oh my god, the Riflemen are coming across the Mines. They hit one, they hit two. And the telephone pole is like saying, night, night. It's going to sleep now. Did manage to get a victory point. We even have a victory point on the right-hand side. So Seb is actually up on victory points at the moment, but his resource income definitely very, very low. Uh, MG setting up to face the windows, pouring some bullets in here. There is a rear door. Uh, here we could exit. That's not probably no reason. Is there one on this side? Uh, there is one on that side. So yeah, he could escape back there if he so chooses to. Uh, a Jeep is here lending his assistant. There goes a Panzerfaust right into the front engine of the Jeep. It's getting out of there quickly and swiftly. I see an arm for the window. He's like, help me. Please. The rear door is used as an evacuation point. Uh, and we did get some chasing opting there. Uh, in the meantime, though, the middle is very much wide open. If we only had sight over here. Now, this mortar has fired a shot, which means we know that there is a weapon losing support a center out here. I see no tier point. two currently from the Bartons. He could, I think he might go build something again. He's going to go tier two. Okay, that's safe and secure. He can very much do that. Tier three, probably not too far away for him, though. Uh, oh, oh, maybe it will be. The fuel point hasn't been captured there yet. Uh, where is that Pioneer squad, by the way, that was going around there capturing stuff earlier? We got free out there. Mines being swept from the Seb. I really like the Seb. Uh, seemingly got a minesweeper out before he even hit a mine. Uh, he saw that there was a mine going down here from Barton and said, You know what? I'm not falling for one of those traps. And then retreats over two mines. Uh, it was unavoidable. It was bound to happen. Very bound to happen. A huge... Uh, gathering of soldiers from the allied forces here. Uh, you do see a mine. They're going to continue to shoot at those mines and blow up absolutely everything. There was even an explosion there. Uh, that wasn't a mine. That is not a mine mark. Uh, these guys died for the cause. That mine had to be swept, by the way. That could have been a mortar shot, by the way. A mortar is firing in the middle. Uh, presumably trying to get that MG position. No, that is not an MG position. That is a victory point. Uh, moving up closer. Remember, we have smoke shells, by the way. Smoke shells are kick ass. Whenever you see players using smoke shells, you know they're pro. Uh, but we got to be very, very wary because I see a tier 3 building the Sturm Armory from Barton coming up and not... Oh, oh. Seb! Seb, not the triage center. We need to get a motor pool very, very fast. 
because that is going to harm us. That tier 3 building that Barton has clearly identified. There is little fuel income from the Seb. The Seb is not going to be too happy. Right? MG might be able to get away, might not Enemy be able to go. Might not be able to get away is the correct answer, however. Uh, a cluster of Volks Grenadiers over here. Uh, moving to respond to that intrusion on the right-hand side of the map as they keep moving through here. They need to capture these points fast. Seb needs to identify that fuel income right now is at an all-time low. And if we want to survive this game, we're going to need some anti-tank guns. Now, he could trade manpower to get that anti-tank support. He could go for some paratroopers and try and get a recallist rifle. He does have the munitions income. He just needs the manpower for that. He's got the CP to go there as well. That would be a very soft counter to some humans on the field, that recoilless rifle. But it is at least something and not nothing. Rangers as well could do the trick. However, going Rangers so like soon with vehicles on the rise, we may come into some stugs. It won't work out too well, but we need something just to get us through this stage of the game and then hopefully go for a tank factory. That is probably what I will be doing at this very point. we got some bars out, which is just feeling like a joke for Seb as he invests so much teching, so much fuel into this teching of early game power, and he's not capitalizing on it at all. It's going to work out uh, very negatively, I assume. But hey, to try and keep this interesting, let's not be too harsh on Seb at the moment. If I am right, however, and Seb does lose this, then... Go me! Yeah! I like predicting stuff. Another Panzerfaust straight into the engine. Woohoo! Promotion! Everyone's really excited that they go off in an explosion and the Puma runs over that guy. Oh my god. Spines do not bend that way. How many times have I told you, Rifle Lot? R rifle Lot? I was going to... What the... Yeah, he's, he's sure is rifling a lot, but he's now running a lot as well as the Puma gives a bit of chase, taking away another casualty. Wonderful. Lots of blood spewing out in the moment. Again, Seb is claiming the left-hand side of the map. We do have an MG back here, however, in that light cover of the forest. Uh, victory points, though. It's a free cap, by the way. Like, at least Seb has been taking some of these victory points. He's still behind, however. Uh, the Puma sees some guys in the building is taking that at the moment. Rangers are out, by the way. And again, I'm just not sure. We can just... Barton doesn't even need to worry about the Rangers. If he wants, he can just buy another Puma. Puma's kind of a bit cheaper than Rangers and a lot, you know, the manpower drain as well. The Pumas, as I said earlier with the Jeep, you have to kill the Puma to make this manpower effective. Whereas the Pumas, all they have to do is kill some Rangers and they've inflicted manpower damage. We even have stickies out here. We are even further behind in fuel. Ooh, look at the little kick on that little post there. What a wonderful, the damaged engine means that it should be easier for the Rangers to move up, but we have two Pumas out here and only one Ranger squad. They are firing up at a distance. Distance is usually not a good range to fire up at. You need to get as close as possible before you hit that. Remember, when fire up ends, those guys will be slow. Many, many slow. Our Pack 38 does not have any reason to reveal its existence on the game map at the moment. It can stay back there. And we got Stugs out here, which is going to be even harder for the Rangers to kill. Stugs. I don't know if you've noticed, they have Heavy Crush. And they're pretty damn good at it as well. They, they I mean, they're like a box. Literally a box of crushing momentum. And it will just go straight for you. The Pumas will easily, come, you know, push around, block the Rangers. There's no way for one Ranger squad to be able to hurt these. I know... Like, one Ranger versus a Puma, by the way. Not, like, one Ranger squad is pretty good for the Rangers, by the way. But there are cases where you can just kind of ignore that and say, well, he might be good against one Puma, but two Pumas, three Pumas, he's not going to work. And that's also going to destroy the rest of his army. Uh, I can't remember what that specific tactic is called, but it definitely has a name somewhere. If anyone, by the way, knows the name of that tactic... Comment and also do those time markers. I like time markers, damn it. Remember the time markers. Uh, our Pumas and our Stoke hugging each other at the moment, blowing down some of that wall. The Rangers opting to go inside the building. Uh, does get one shot off though. One shot is all we can really hope for at the moment as a Puma. Uh, with all of its speed 
And look, we even have road terrain as well. Lots of road to move around at a very, very quick speed. we got some riflemen having fun with pioneers on the right-hand side of the map as soon as they have finished on the... Oh, wow, they do manage to get them as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, I didn't see uh, that last one die until they came off the screen. But yeah, they do get the whole pioneer squad. Uh, and now they can move around and go capture stuff. You can see the Puma easily taking out the Rifleman Squad at distance. These bars just aren't enough. Why aren't bars anti-Puma devices? We need anti-Puma devices. The Stug uh, <laughs> even taking shots at the Rangers and making them move out of the way, by the way. Uh, the fire up ability makes it so that the guys, when they take heavy fire uh, from explosions, they no longer jump out of the way and stop their moving pattern. They just carry on running to their position. That is something else which is pretty good. The Pumas reversing skillfully for that Ranger squad. Just one guy left in there. He wants to get away. I want to not be killed by the Puma. Yeah, yeah. Well, spacing out right now. Uh, double Pumas all the way. By the way, when that first Puma came out, he probably could have scouted inside the base and saw that there was literally no counter. We do have the motor pull up now. Need to rock those anti-tank guns all the way to the front lines because seriously only anti-tank gun play is going to solve this issue an m8 is not going to be enough two pumas one of them could be upgraded with another cannon not to mention we have a pack 38 out there and a stoke all things which will just numb up an m8 greyhound armored car no chance of that happening so just pour out two at guns and try and keep ahead on the infantry play we have a sniper out here from barton taking this first kill already uh ranger squad Looks like they found one heck of a big giant blast, by the way. <laughs> oh my god, was that like a howitzer strike? It can't have been a howitzer strike. There is no howitzer strike ability there, but there was a huge explosion. Must have been a mine. Now, Mortar is here firing on its own infantry. Why is this a thing? A Mortar not being the friendliest of friendlies we do get another sticky grenade off on a puma damaging that engine and one more as well it's like a convoy now of vehicles which need to repair they go for their pack 38 that is like the repair station where is our bunker of repairing by the way i think barton could definitely capitalize on one of these uh, as he just runs his vehicles in takes some damage moves back out draining points. the munitions as well uh, we still have plenty of munitions but you know, those sticky grenades are essentially worthless. They didn't do anything. You have to use those sticky grenades when you can. I believe, though, the purpose of those particular sticky grenades was just to send those armored cars packing. And I think, is this the third Puma? It is the third Puma. Barton is trying to secure this early win at the moment. Al Stug is just going to try and... Oh, my God. A very close sticky grenade there. And then uh, the Stug... Looks like it's in a bad position, surrounded by so much, but it takes so many guys with it as they just run into the stug. Remember, there is no reason for riflemen to be that close, that close to an armored vehicle with heavy crush. Always try and keep them away when possible to avoid that situation. We even have a Goliath out here. We could the oh, I would love it if the mortar hit that. Please, mortar, hit the Goliath and blow up the stug. No. Oh, in fact, that's probably what that explosion was earlier. That was probably a Goliath. Oh, we missed that one. I'm going to have to go back and get that now. Damn it! I love Goliaths! Goliaths rock! Uh, looking inside the base of Seb at the moment. He needs... He needs more things which win the game for him. I'm not... I'm not sure that the MA Greyhound right now is really the unit that he wishes to select. Uh, we don't have any supply yard upgrades as well. So it's good that he stopped his fuel drain into stuff which wasn't really benefiting it early on. Uh, it would have been nice to have that supply yard upgrade, but right now we need to focus on all of these armored vehicles which are just having free rain on the battlefield. Rangers cannot do anything about it, but instead they opt to go find that sniper. The sniper is retreating away to the Stokes. Oh, it's a stew, by the way. Could have been the stew earlier. Uh, running in here. Trying to get some more heavy crush, but the Puma is kind of blocking at the moment. Destroying the environment. Ha <laughs> ha! Nay. In fact, I know that was definitely not a stew earlier. That stew wasn't even out here. Definitely not. The Greyhound is like, ha <laughs> ha! Why? I thought I was going to win this. And, like, sure, I can take a few shots. Is that laying a mine? That's not laying a mine. It should lay a mine, however. It 
should sacrifice itself for the cause as well. Lay a mine down on these two Pumas. At least finish that off. Uh, you know, do something. A huge explosion there on the motor pool. Look at the damage that shot did against that building. Uh, main gun destroyed on that Puma. We still have plenty of more Pumas left over. Uh, Stug is here to fire some shots into that Greyhound. A beautiful Stu 42 shot. Taking out at least five guys in that one. The second shot, however, hitting that building. Rangers inside of this building uh, with the bazookas there taking some rear shots into the Stug. Can they get this last one? No, we need one more. One more is all it takes. Uh, maybe a sticky grenade would do it. Again, not exactly the right choice there. At Humor is not yet ready to die. The Stug is, however. We need uh, one or two more shots. Oh, they do manage to get it. They do manage to get that Stug. Uh, the Stu fires inside the building. The Rangers are like not, not fussed at all. That explosion must have went straight through into the safe room uh, of that building. I, I don't know where that is exactly, but the Volks are here to pick up the, uh, the infantry kills. They got loads of heavy cover ready to be obtained, but instead they just run at the mortar, and the mortar only has one guy, so he pops himself in the face. Uh, riflemen, however, are just funneled into a choke point. This is not the exit we want to go through at the moment. Our exits are here. We want to move, uh, like, there's hardly any defenses here. You can see the barbed wire was cut here earlier on. Uh, our mines, double mine sweepers from Barton. I don't believe I've really seen many mines from Seb, so Barton was just overly cautious there. Yeah, who knows, the mines could have won the game. We have a mortar here which could be claimed uh, by some Volks. Helpful, helpful Volks. Or even one of these Pioneer squads. I mean, why the hell not? We don't need two minesweepers. Uh, we do need repairs, however. That will be good. But like I said, a good old-fashioned repair bunker. Order, do Allies it. Allies have less points. than 100 points. And I think they have less than hope as well. Like, there is literally nothing here that Seb can do. Uh, our pubers, our stews, double stews now, by the way. Ten kills, zero kills. This is the brand shiny new one. It's going to charge forth and get some heavy crush factor. Yeah, one. Reversing, reversing. This vehicle is reversing. This vehicle is why? Oh, it does manage to hit the engineers. All the old, old master. engineers. You stupid engineers. Uh, one ranger almost doing exactly the same thing, but realizes that the engineers from before made a critical mistake of running into that building. Lots more backflips are happening. Uh, the rangers do indeed run into that Stug, trying to kill this Puma. Just one more shot. They do get it, however. It's still not looking good. Oh, look, a vet one rifleman squad. Oh, we've got to check out the kills on those guys. They must have been doing pretty damn good, jolly good. Uh, however, <laughs> this is one ranger squad. I rarely see a blue bar in there. Will the stew? It's all down to the stew. No, he does not. Seb is GGing, but before that, 10 kills for that rifleman squad. Not as good as I thought it ought to be. So that was the first game. Congratulations to Barton. We'll be doing the next game shortly. In fact, this is a full day of casting for me because I need to get back ahead because that goddamn hard drive which exploded. Lost all my games. This game was 22, 59, 20, 22 minutes, 59 seconds. So whoop, whoopee, yay. That was a quick game. Pretty quick game. Let's see if Seb can do better next time or Barton can put on the fury face for his ally play. See you soon. Want more video? Over there at the top of the screen are relevant videos. And some other videos below them. You can subscribe by clicking the subscribe button too. If you got this far, maybe you should press like. No one sticks around for this long.
your loyalty shall go unrewarded.